Hey folks, everything new under the sun. All right, uh, you can't see anything right now. Let me uh, let me pull this up here. I wasn't gonna do a video about this. I did post this on the community. Um, I made a post about it. Archaeologists uncover Babylonian destruction of Jerusalem, just how the Bible describes it. So the Bible is historically accurate. Every uh, place in the Bible where it speaks of anything in the past. It's an inspired word of God. It's accurate historically. And this is one way to prove the Bible, to have confidence in the Bible, to know that your faith is accurate. And if it is historically accurate throughout with no inaccuracies, um, then you can have more faith. You can grow your faith that the uh, supernatural, the seemingly supernatural stuff is also accurate and where it speaks of God and the creation of the world is also accurate. So it gives us, uh, it grows our faith basically. Now, this one briefly, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but academics are saying that the Bible is trustworthy after discovering uh, evidence of the 6th century Babylonian siege of Jerusalem as it was described in 2 Kings chapter 25. So they're excavating on Mount Zion, Jerusalem, and they say they have found physical evidence of the Babylonian attack, including burnt material, arrowheads, carbonized wood, bronze, iron, jewelry, and broken pottery. And so it says the Bible describes King Nebuchadnezzar's forces uh, burning every great house down, including the house of the Lord, Solomon's temple. The soldiers also took bronze pillars and vessels from the temple and carried them back to Bab Babylon with uh, the children of Israel. Um, and they were thrown into exile. It says we were finding, uh, what we're finding are the results of that destruction, Gibson said, and that Nebuchadnezzar was known as the destroyer of nations uh, at the time. Um, it says, while he cannot say conclusively that archaeologists stumbled upon the remnants of the Babylonian attack, Gibson says it lines up very well with the Bible. In fact, Gibson believes that discoveries prove the Bible to be reliable and a historically accurate document. Uh, and, and I have several uh, stories about this, uh, videos I've done about this, and you can find them in my uh, playlist called Biblical Creation Earth uh, origins. So this is my playlist where I go through um, uh, uh, videos about creation, evolution, and Earth origins. So I've got a three-part series on are dinosaurs alive today. Uh, I've got this video about science confirms biblical story of David and Goliath. So every day, you know, there's coming out more um, uh, archaeological evidence um, proving the Bible and uh, proving its historicity. Um, ensuring that you have you can have faith in your Bible that is inspired Word of God, and it's just one more little piece that verifies that uh, the Bible is trust a trustworthy source and is, like I say, inspired. And it's something that we can have faith in. So, um, news every single day, science um, gives you more ways to uh, verify, confirm, and really grow your faith in God and in the Bible. And uh, this should give you a reason to share it with others like I'm doing through my videos. And so check out my playlist, Biblical Creation, Earth Origins. And I have a, a, a lot of videos here, 133, I guess, in this particular playlist. Um, uh, here, uh, Bible is historically accurate. 3,200-year-old glyphs reveal um, sea people. Uh, there it is there, which you can't see. Um, that one in the middle. And so all sorts of videos uh, about this. Um, this PhD believes in a literal uh, genesis. See at the bottom there. And so lots of stories about here. Dinosaurs with man, uh, aliens, uh, etc. So lots of interesting stuff uh, in this playlist. Please uh, vi uh, visit this playlist. Uh, share the videos. Check it out. Uh, I think it's uh, fascinating stuff. Science every day confirms the Bible. Um, no evidence uh, by science ever comes out that disproves the Bible, um, even though they might try and twist it and say that it does, uh, it always ends up confirming the Bible. So pretty cool stuff, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll leave there a little short video. We'll see you guys in the next video.